India is a land of several ancient wonders. Among them, the musical pillars found in some of the South Indian temples are beyond science. In ancient India, temples were the centers for various religious and cultural activities. Hence, musical pillars were made to pray gods and for cultural events. There are two types of musical pillars, the first are the tapping type, which produce sounds when tapped, and the second are blowing type, which produce sounds when air is blown into them. Sachindram is a town in Kanyakumari district of the South Indian state, Tamil Nadu. It is an important pilgrim center and the site of the famous Thanumalayan temple. There is a statue of Hanuman, the monkey god. The statue which stands at 22 feet, is carved of a single granite block. In the Alankara Mandapam, there are four large pillars, each formed by a group of smaller pillars, all carved from a single rock of granite. These are the famous musical pillars. A tap on each of the pillars in a group produces different sounds. Unfortunately, these pillars are surrounded by iron grills to prevent vandalism. The big question is, how was such a construction even made in 17th century, when there were no machines, when there was no metal melting, or stone melting technology? Or, did the technology exist? The Meenakshi Amman Temple in Madurai, Tamil Nadu, is a temple with many architectural attractions. The temple was constructed in 12th century. A major attraction is the Thousand Pillar Hall, which is embellished with ceiling decorations. The hall was said to be constructed in 15th century. There are five musical pillars, constructed right outside the Thousand Pillar Hall. They are monoliths. Each pillar, when struck, produces a different musical note. One of the prominent temples, with musical pillars, is the Vijayavitala Temple in Hampi. Hampi was the capital of the 14th century superpower, Vijayanagara Empire. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, located in the state of Karnataka. The Virapaksha Temple is the principal destination for pilgrims. In less than two miles, near the banks of Dungabhadra River, is the popular Vijayavitala Temple. The Garuda Shrine, a stone chariot in the courtyard, is often pictured symbol of Hampi. In front of the stone chariot is the Runga Mandava, or a stage pavilion. The Mandava has 56 pillars that are carved stone beams of different length, shape, and finish. The surface of the pillars produces musical sounds when struck. These are sounds of the notes from Indian classical music. It is said that a British archaeologist cut one of the pillars to understand the science behind the music. But, all he saw was a hollow empty pipe. Now, if you felt 14th century is too early for this technology, please keep your eyes and ears wide open to learn about the Nelipar Temple. Tirunelveli is one of the many temple towns in the state of Tamil Nadu. It is named after the grooves and forests. Nelipar Temple, 
located in Tirunelveli is a Hindu temple, dedicated to the Lord Shiva. Constructed in the 7th century, the temple is a masterpiece of architecture. The unique feature of the temple, is its Mani Mandapam. It has two giant pillars carved out of a single stone, and each one is having 48 sub-pillars. The pillars can produce seven basic notes of music. Some pillars can produce a bell-like sound. Hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel, if you would like to get notified of, more videos on ancient architecture.